Hey, what is up guys? John from Magic Tech Review and in today's video I'm going to show you a little bit more about this Total Wireless TCL LX and how to actually master reset, factory reset and stuff like that and other things as, as far as screenshotting and how to disable and en en enable talkback so lots of things guys here I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real fast, real quick so go ahead and stay tuned let's get right into it. So pretty much since TCL, it's uh, pretty much new onto the market. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few things, a few tricks here and there. Uh, really simple stuff. So just in case, you know, some of you guys don't really know or, you know, maybe you get stuck on something. This is how to soft reset your TCL device. You're just going to go ahead and hold down the power button there. For at least 10 to 15 seconds since the battery is non removable please do not try to remove the battery out and as you can see there guys starts right back up so like I said hold her for about 10 to 15 seconds in case the phone freezes up or it's just really laggy or something just went out of control there you have it for that that's the simplest and easiest way to pretty much just fix whatever uh, this phone does have 2 gigabytes of RAM but, you know what I'm saying, it might get stuck or whatever, so that's your easy, quick, fix solution for that. Let's go ahead and move on to something else now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to turn on and off TalkBack real quick. So, here you go. So, if, if you, for some reason, find yourself in TalkBack mode, you can actually really quickly hold the top volume button and bottom volume button and just hold it down for a couple seconds. And what it'll do is you can see right there it says accessibility shortcut turned on. So now you are in talkback okay, mode. You see you say now you can actually just hold to hold okay, those two but those talkback buttons now and now talkback is indeed off. So there you go with that guys. So hopefully these things are helping you out. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if this is helping you out. Go ahead and subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech Group family. And comment down below what you want to see uh, further from this TCL video or from any other video. So let's go ahead and move on to something else, guys. I just want to show you, you know, a few things. Like I said, this is I do like to do tutorial videos and I do like to show people, you know, just things that they might not have known. So you're going to go ahead and hold this button right here. You're going to hold the power button. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually hold the power off button. And what this is going to do is this going to actually reboot you to safe mode. So rebooting you to safe mode we'll hit OK right there and what that does is it's gonna have actually reset your phone or reboot your phone you're not gonna lose any information if you reboot to safe mode what safe mode does basically it takes your applications and they kind of just all the applications that you put on the phone or anything you've really done on the phone it kind of just sets them to the side it's kind of like a safe mode on a computer where all it does is it reboots with just the core application so let's say you know your kid or somebody that didn't really know too much or whatever or maybe even you installed something that you don't know and it's making your phone act funky or act funny this will prevent it from starting up and then what you can do is you can go into the application drawer and actually get it and uninstall it so there you got there you have it guys safe mode is now enabled on this phone and since I didn't really install anything just yet uh, you know there's nothing that's going to be grayed out but usually there will be things that's grayed out on the phone and so that's safe mode so that's the easiest way to just get rid of garbage that you don't need or whatever and to get out of safe mode is really easy guys you just literally restart your phone again but instead of restarting the phone this time we're just going to hit power off and I'm actually going to show you guys how to factory reset this phone using the buttons so we're going to go ahead and go in right there. So you're going to go ahead and hold the power up button and power and the power button. So hopefully this should work. So I'm holding the power button there for a good three to five seconds before I hold the power button. So let's go. And then once you hear, once you feel the vibration and you see the TCL, just let go of the power, but keep holding the volume up button. And as you can see here, guys, really easy. It comes right up. It says reboot system now, wipe factory data reset wipe cache partition and power off so wipe data factory reset is it's gonna reset your whole phone guys so just be careful about that but 
you know, if your phone is acting really funky, weird, got some glitches, it's, you know, anything like that, usually a white factory data reset will just, well, it's going to re, it's going to get rid of everything you have, like everything. So you got to be really careful about that, guys. And then this white cache partition, uh, you can go ahead and do that if your phone is acting kind of weird as well. This might help in some situations, but if the situation is too severe and there's just too much stuff up there and you want to just get rid of everything and start factory fresh, white data factory reset is going to be the key right there. So we're going to go ahead and reboot system now. Sorry if I sound a little bit robotic, guys, but I just want to start from scratch with this so people don't, you know, people understand. Uh, what's going on and maybe you know if you're having some issues with this TCL phone or any other phone kind of like this you can just you know you can just follow the instructions or follow along uh, also guys if you're having trouble uh, hearing people or if people are tr having trouble hearing you then you might want to go ahead and check this microphone port right here or this mic port right here uh, this is your speaker this is your speakers right there and this is your microphone right here so if this is covered in junk you might want to go ahead and just take like little a little needle or something like that or maybe like a blower and just you know blow it out or whatever or just give it a good give it a good blow whatever you whatever you want to call it so we're going to go ahead now and go into how to speed up your phone real quick we're going to do that one on the TCL now a lot of you a lot of you vet, veterans out there uh, when it comes to tech probably going to know this one so what we're going to do is we're going to go to about phone so you're going to go into settings this is going to be how to speed up your uh, your phone here so this is pretty much pretty easy you go to about phone pretty much every android has it right now you go into the build number and you're going to go ahead and just tap this build number and it says you are now one step away from being a developer and you're going to do ahead and you are now a developer and you're going to go into developer options and while you go into developer options you're gonna go scroll down scroll down scroll down and it's gonna be right here this is what I usually use right here window animation scale transition animation scale animator duration scale so you're gonna go ahead and just turn all those off it's at 0.5 right now and when you turn off the animations everything just seems to go smoother for me I usually have all my animations turned off on all my phones anyway that's just what I like to do that's how I like to operate or whatever some of you guys like to see those animations. I don't really care too much for them. I just want to get to what I want to get to. And I don't want to, you know, have these animations on there. So, uh, you know, it's a it's a mixed bag. If you want to do it, go ahead. If you don't, don't. Obviously. Now, another thing, real quick, is to how to take a screenshot. So you're gonna hold down the volume button, the power button, for one to two seconds. So this is how you take a screenshot. Right there. <laughs> all right screenshot captured ah okay so wow this phone doesn't like really show you that it's, it's being captured weird usually they do show you but uh, it doesn't even show you it doesn't like have a picture that pops up so you're just gonna volume down and power just two seconds really and that's it uh, I don't know why that's doing that maybe the shortcut or the uh, thing is messing with it right now but yeah so obviously it does show screenshot captured now so there you go that was kind of strange right there but yeah that's how you do it also we're gonna go ahead and go into how to factory reset this phone using the normal keys just in case you don't want to go to the power off menu and all this and that so what you're gonna go into uh, we actually have to find it some phones are different so we're gonna go into where we're gonna find it at right there security and location maybe let's see here where are you at where are you at where are you at system update find my phone so like I said sometimes you do have to mess around with this stuff and it's kind of hidden user accounts account for owner system reset options there we go erase all data factory reset so this one right there guys let me show you guys that one more time because it's a little different on each phone so you go to settings you can go through settings from the top you can go through settings from the bottom and then you're gonna go into
users and accounts. I'm sorry, system. Sorry, it's a little early in the morning. We're gonna go to reset options. And then you're gonna go right there, reset all, erase all data factory reset. So you're just gonna hit that button right there. And then it's gonna ask you to reset phone. It's gonna reset. It says this will erase all your data from your phone's internal storage, including your Google account, system and app data and settings, download apps, downloaded apps, music, photos, other user data, and yeah, pretty much everything. Uh, that you got on the phone so just make sure that you actually want to hit that uh, before you do and actually have your phone uh, a good amount charged up just in case you don't want your battery dying while it's doing that because then it might put you into a boot loop or you know the system might crash while it's doing that that's not a good thing so anyways guys it's been John from Magic Tech Review thank you guys for joining in like I said hit that like if you did enjoy this tutorial of the TCL and how to do various things with it hopefully uh, this is a good resource for you guys going forward and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.